Hey stalkers, I love you. So it's been a week now. I've given you guys plenty of time to have caught up. So if you haven't already watched Orange is the New Black Season 3 yet, stop watching this video now until you've watched it because there will probably be spoilers. And I don't care because you had a week to watch it. And it's Orange is the New Black. You should have watched it like in the first weekend that it was there. AKA, you should have watched it last weekend. So, not my fault if you learn things that you didn't want to learn by watching my video. Also, I apologize. Um, obviously, the video title is misleading, but I will get to that point at some point. And my voice may be a little bit blah, 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 blah right now because I'm fighting off like something with my throat. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's strep throat because I don't see like the white shit in the back of my throat. But it's sore, it's phlegmy, and I'm starting to cough, and it's getting really annoying. But I'm drinking lots of tea and sleeping a lot, and I mean sleeping a lot. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get to it. So, Orange is the New Black Season 3. I was like super excited for this season, and I binge watched the first two seasons like the week before it came out, and then I ended up having to work overnights the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday that it was available, so I didn't really get to watch many episodes because I worked from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. and then, excuse me, and then I slept for like a good 10 hours because overnights take like all my energy out of me. So then by the time that I get up, I didn't have a lot of time to watch shows, the show, so I'd maybe get like one or two episodes done a day. Um, so it was really frustrating because everyone had watched it. Everyone was posting like snippets of it from on Snapchat and I was like, stop, you're like giving me spoilers and I don't want these. Um, but all in all, I finished the season finally and I'm not going to lie, I wasn't as pleased with it as I had hoped. It was really slow to me compared to the other seasons. I mean, I did love it, like there was a lot of good things that happened, but I felt like it was attack of the eye itch. Rawr. Don't get me wrong, like I loved the season and everything that happened in it, but, well, not everything, but, um, I don't know, it just seemed slow to me. It seemed like it wasn't as fast paced as the other episodes and I just couldn't get into it as much. Um, I honestly, I'm so upset that they got rid of Nikki. Like she's one of my favorite characters and I really hope she comes back in fourth season because watching the season without her just was not the same. One of the things that I loved is that they did a lot more backstories for like, some of the characters that we didn't really necessarily see much into their past, like Healy, um, uh, we got to learn a little bit more about Stash's, Porn Stash's uh, past, uh, Mary Soul, um, who wants Norma's past, like getting to see all these other characters that have been such a big like part in the show, but finally seeing their backgrounds and their histories and kind of like why they got in, put into prison was really cool. Um, I'm also pissed off that Bennett was fucking fucked off, like, fuck you Bennett, like, you're adorable, but fuck you for leaving her, like, yeah. Also, not gonna lie, I kinda hate Piper this season. I do not like the way that she's changed. She just doesn't give a shit about things, and she's just, she's not the same character as she was, uh, in the first two seasons, which is understandable considering she's in prison, prison changes you, but I mean... I just, I'm not a big fan of her this season. I, I like the way that she was originally written. So now the reason why I, like the, the titles there is, um, I think I might be a lesbian now because Ruby Rose is fucking gorgeous. And comment down below if you agree with me, like how much she has stirred the feelings in your loins because fuck, like she is gorgeous as hell. And there's, there was only one person, one woman that I would ever consider having sex with, and that was Emma Watson. And now she's number two. Like, I would have sex with her, because she's gorgeous. So, I think something might be changing. I don't know. I'm scared. Why is my eye so itchy? I have to say, the final scene was kind of interesting, because it's, it's gonna be weird starting season four, because so much has changed. And... Just seeing that final scene where they all like get out and start swimming, it's like, what the fuck? So it's definitely gonna be an interesting season four. I hope some of the guards come back. Like I hope they come back for season four because like it's not gonna be the same without them. Because they are 
technically like the main characters in the show. So yeah, I hope they come back. But yeah, this was just a bunch of random ranting and nonsense about Orange is the New Black because I realized I still needed to shoot a video and I was not feeling the greatest and then someone said I should talk about my obsession with Ruby Rose and I said yeah I'll do a whole video about Orange is the New Black season 3 and then I kind of just did it without planning anything to talk about. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be shorter which is nice. I think it's gonna be shorter. So yeah, comment down below guys with your opinions on what Ruby Rose is doing to you and what you thought about Orange is the New Black Season 3. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you guys liked it and share the video with everyone that you know and everyone that you don't know because sharing my video with strangers is what being my stalker is truly meant to be. Squirt, squirt, squirt all! Guys, don't forget to check out last week's video right over here where I talked about two truths and a lie with some really interesting but funny stories. So go check it out and I think you'll have a laugh and probably learn a little bit too much about some things that have happened to me in the past. Don't forget to click over here to subscribe to my channel for new videos with my face every Friday at 3 p.m. ish. And yeah, check out all my social media accounts down below and follow them. Um, my link for my YouNow account will be down below. Go click it and fan me so that way you know when I broadcast. I try and broadcast pretty often. Um, I haven't been broadcasting the past few days because of work and because I haven't felt well. Um, so I've just been sleeping a lot. But yeah, go fan me on that and you can find out when I post or follow me on Twitter because it automatically posts whenever I go live. And I try to now tweet more. So follow me on Twitter and interact with me so I can actually tweet more because yeah. <sighs> I'm a kitty cat. An ice cube for my hair.